Well, hello, it's nice to see you again. I'm glad I didn't scare you off with the scary stuff. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun and make this somewhat drab and boring Excel look like this. So first off, I'm gonna show you how to fill a box. Obviously there's the regular fill, which is right here. You just highlight and fill any color you want. You can change the text to any color you want, etc. But let's like it make it a little more exciting than that. Right click, come down to Format Cells, come down to Fill, Fill Effects. Now you get these options for gradient. To recreate the one we did on the other page, it's that one right there. And then you get to alter the colors. If we want blue and white, or we can just change it to blue and black. Oops, that's not black. There we go. Blue and black, like, ah, that looks pretty cool. Let's do that. So, okay. But uh, we may want the font to be a little lighter, so we'll just come over here to font, color white, select. Ooh, that looks snazzy. And now we want to create this color coding system. Now this is actually really useful. This isn't just aesthetics. Um, I'm going to show you how to do conditional formatting. We want all of these numbers, more or less, to be positive. Again, paying off the loans, those can be negative and those are okay, which is why they're yellow here and not red red being negative, green being positive, yellow and blue being neutral. So, here we go. Teaching. Select the box, come to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, and if the number is greater than dot dot dot. Okay, so if the number in this box is greater than what's in here, then then what is it going to do? That's what we're telling the computer. So if the number is greater than zero, there it is, then that's good because that means we spent, we're in the positive, we spent less money than we were planning. So let's reward ourselves. Green fill with dark green text. Ta-da! Oh wait, nothing happened. That's because it's in the, the number is negative. So we'll come back up, highlight cells rules. What if the number is less than zero? Then we want to fill it with red. Okay, ta-da, red. If we want it to be neutral, if we spent exactly the amount of money that we were planning, such as with the mortgage, highlight sales rules equal to zero. The number in this box, what happens if the number in this box is equal to zero? That's what you're telling the computer. You want it filled with blue, but blue wasn't an option there. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a static option. So you come to fill, you select your shade of blue, you go back to fonts, select your shade of blue, and then press OK. Now you don't get to see that, but let's just say that they did plan on 10461. Oh, fills up with blue. You did well. Well done. You can do that all the way across. Now, you can, instead of doing blue, or excuse me, instead of doing red when you go negative for these three, or even for the tithing, because spending, there's nothing wrong with giving more tithing as long as you can. I mean, if you're giving 10% of your income and you've spent more, then that's a good thing. That means you got more income. So you can have that not be red, like here. You can have it be yellow. That, that's entirely up to you. You can do whatever you want. That's the beautiful thing about Excel and formatting. So instead of making the negative, so again, conditional formatting, highlighting cells, if it's less than zero, you can just have it be yellow instead of red. Now, if we look back here, we can see that this one is a little fancier. This is the same thing as this, just looks a little different. Come here, highlight, format cells, fill, fill effects, but we want it from the center. And we want the outside to be green, because green is good, inside to be white, Okay, and ta-da, yay, we have our income. You can do anything you want in there. And if you can, you can conditional format that so that if the income is higher than 4,000, let's say this family has the, a, a goal to always break 4,000 monthly income, then you can conditional format that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's say if the conditional formatting, sales rule, if the number is less than $4,000, but let's not, let's not do the boring red. Let's do custom. So if the box is less than $4,000, if 
fill effects. Let's have a little bit of a strike through there. Red is bad. Or maybe it's good for you. You can do whatever you want. And then we'll do black. Ooh, that looks cool. Just like that. And then let's change the font color to white. Oh, okay. Okay. Now nothing showed up there. But if we were to take away, because remember that number comes from these figures. So if we were to take this away, oh no, we've lost money. Or we're not making as much money as we want. You can conditional format anything you want. Same thing over here. If you want to look at it from over here, money is good. How much we've repaid, that's good. So I just made the color green. I also made it bold to make it stand out against the white background a little better. And then remaining, how much money we have left to spend, you can make that red. You could conditional format any of these cells to change colors based on how much of a percentage. If you want to reward yourselves, like, hey, once we break 25%, then it's going to change a different color. That's really easy. You would go conditional formatting. Uh, well, let's say 20%, so you can actually see something. If it's greater than 20%, then, well, let's make it exciting, shall we? Oops, that's not what I want to do. OK, so here we go. If you have a conditional formatting that already exists in a box, and you want to edit that one and not add an additional one, conditional formatting on the box manage rules. This is the one rule that we currently have applied to this box. So select the rule, edit the rule. Um, this is its, you know, if, if, it, uh, if the cell value is greater than 0.2, which is the same as 20%, format, and now you're back here where you should recognize where you are. Fill effects, um, we want green because green is good, and let's Let's make it a little dramatic, or let's, yeah, let's do that right there. How exciting. How exciting are we? And then the font, we don't want a red font on green. Let's change it to just the good old black. And apply, ta-da, changes. And that's exactly what I've done here in the debt tracker. You'll notice how this is orange, this is a lighter red, and this is a darker red. I did a rewarding system for the user to feel good about themselves because paying off debt is good and you need every little boost you can get when you're going through something that's as difficult as paying off debt. So, oh, and I did the same thing here as well. Um, I just filled that. The yes and the no is the exact same thing as the money. So, right here, conditional format, highlight cells, text that contains. If it contains yes, Fill it with green. Conditional formatting. If it contains no, fill it with red. So now it's a yes, it's a no, not a mo. If it's a no, it's a red. Just that simple. And then what you should be able to do, because this is considered formatting, highlight the cell, use your format painter, and now all those cells are under the same rule. Just that easy. So let's show you a little bit, how, let's show you how to do the slightly more complicated multi-format system I have here. Because Let me show you this. This format system I have set up on this. I've got a lot of rules. Look at all these rules here. I set all these up so that when the cell value is greater than 190 149,250 times 0.9, which means if the cell value, because 149,250 was the initial de debt, times 0.9 is going to be 90% or greater of that debt, or in other words, 9 tenths of that debt. So if they still have more than 9 tenths of the debt remaining, or 90% of the debt remaining, then it's going to be this color. But once they drop below that, and you can't really see it here, See if I can, they won't let me stretch it out. Um, if the value of whatever is in that box is between 194,250 times 0 0.9 and 149,250 times 0 0.8, then it changes color. And the same thing for 0 0.8 to 0 0.7, 0 0.7 to 0 0.6, 0 0.8 to 0 0.7, 0 0.8 to 0 0.6. 
0 0.6, 0 0.5, etc., all the way down to um, to when you're on your last 10% of the debt, when you have when you've paid off 90% or more of the mortgage remaining, you get you can spice this up to do whatever you want it to do so that you can be excited. We are almost there. Again, the fun part about all of this is that you can do this however you want. You can make your Excel page as bright and colorful, as sleek and sharp, as boring and boring as you want. Um, but let me show you how this works, just for kicks and giggles, because I'm proud of it. This is the debt that's remaining. Let's say they pay off $10,000, changes colors, they pay off another $10,000, changes colors, pay off $25,000 changes colors fifty thousand dollars oh my goodness look how much I mean just the physical like you may think that this is silly but the psychology behind this paying off debt for some people is more difficult than losing weight or or is just as difficult for some people to lose weight where it's a mental battle and any little bit of reward that you can give yourself is worth it anything that can boost your confidence and your self-esteem in knowing that you are doing well is a good idea. Now if we want to make the summary page look a little sharper like this, same kind of thing, you increase the font size and then right click, format cells, fill, fill effects, let's do that, let's do something a little spicier and then Let's do a secondary color of purple. That's gonna look really odd, but maybe that works for you. Font, black's gonna be hard to see, so you make it white. Ta-da, just like that. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Um, just going off of this, I, liked, I wanted a nice divider there in the middle, so I just highlighted all those cells and filled them with black. But you could fill them with the purple shade if you wanted to make it match that way. Um, same kind of thing here, you just increase the font size. I mean, really, it, the concepts of this are very simple, but it can really make things a lot more interesting to look at, a lot more fun if this is your kind of thing, being creative. This, I want this boxed in, especially if I'm gonna ever print this thing, so I just, now it's boxed in. Um, I, want, well, I want this to have the same image as this, so I'm gonna use that, Format Painter, click that, ta-da, now it looks the exact same. If we want to do some of the gradient stuff in here, then highlight those cells, right click, format cells, fill, fill effects, colors, what were our colors? The purple and, or the red and the purple, right? No, that's a different purple. There we go, that's better. Um, but we want it grading from left to right, so let's go vertical and we want red in the middle. Again, font should be white. Okay reds in the middle. Now on this opposite side, now if you were to copy this and then do, or if you were to do a format painter and like this, then you'll notice red is on the outside. Maybe that's not your thing. So highlight, right click, format cells. I mean, you get the idea here. Do whatever you want. Uh, a good idea that I found is adding these shaded lines here helps divide the lines so that you don't, so you can follow April as a white line. You can follow it all the way across nice and easy really easy way to do that, just to highlight the line, you can hold down the control button, highlight the next line you want highlighted, leaving the control button down this whole time, I can highlight whatever rows I do or do not want to highlight, you notice I did that, I can just click on it and take it off, no I can't, well I can unhighlight that one later. So now I come up here to fill, just do regular fill, but I don't, let's say I don't want those to be completely purple, I mean that looks a little bad, or completely red. So we can do something a little lighter like that. Actually, that looks nice, let's just do that. And just like that, no, I don't want that one there. Just come up here, no fill. Ta-da, voila. And you can do, like I said, just do whatever you want, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I mean, so that's basically it. You can use those same principles to do whatever you want to your, to your spreadsheet to make conditional formatting. You can, you can divide it up into tenths and a hundredths if you have a large debt. I mean, just this program is built for you to be able to maneuver the numbers and the boxes to what you want them to do. I strongly encourage you to follow the budget system. Even if you don't make it pretty and it's not all colorful and snazzy, 
Um, the ability to control your money will give you an edge in today's world, especially in today's world, in a world where credit cards thrive. Cut up your credit cards, get out of debt, and use the money to your advantage. Once you start making money and every single month you're pulling a positive in here, you can start considering investments. And that's an entirely another discussion altogether. You can consider saving up for the things that truly matter. You can even consider saving up for a boat. But when you have the money, there's nothing wrong with spending it. It's when you don't have the money that you shouldn't spend it. Thank you for participating. Thank you for watching. I hope I've been educational. If you have comments or feedback or uh, constructive, please, criticism, uh, I invite you to leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. and. Enjoy your day.